Hi everyone, welcome back to the Blue 8 Renewables YouTube channel. Today we are on our way to Phil, who is currently on day two of an installation of a Tesla Powerwall 3. Yesterday there was also solar panels installed for the customer as well. So today, Phil will be commissioning the system and getting it all up and running for the customer. We've got some beautiful views on the way. Um, I'll pop in a couple of clips here of the sea, the mountains, a couple of castles as well. In addition to the Powerwall 3 and the panels, this customer, or these customers I should say, are having an air source heat pump fitted in the near future, making them have a full sustainable ecosystem within their home, which is fantastic to see, and seeing that change within, you know, customers' minds really wanting to be energy independent, which is one of our main drives here at Blue 8 Renewables. Yeah, come along for the journey. We'll also get Phil to talk you through how he installed the Tesla Powerwall 3, how we find it, why he did it as well, like why he brought the cables in a certain direction to help or best to fit the customer's needs. So stay tuned and we'll be with you shortly. So we're at the customer's property now. The weather has taken a, well, a change for the worst, but rain or shine, Blue Ape Renewables will always install uh, any system that you want. So we're gonna hand you over to Phil now. Hi Phil, how are you doing? Hey, great. Uh, this is day two in the beautiful Menai Streets. Yesterday was scorched and sunshine, today is mist and um, wetness, but not a problem. Everything's IP rated, designed to be outside, waterproof cable, waterproof boxes, and of course the Powerwall 3 and the Tesla Gateway 2, both waterproof products. So on the panels, there's two strings um, feeding down the PV Ultra cable into the Powerwall 3. This has three MPPTs. And so you can have three different strings and it can take up to 20 kilowatts of solar and then that charges the battery directly by DC. Um, this is a 13 and a half kilowatt power all three is 13 and a half kilowatt hour battery and um, built an isolator and MC4s inside in case we need to disconnect and do any work on it and then this is fed by a 10 millimeter cable from the gateway to it's not quite complete yet still got the data connection to do isolatable outside um, and that's fed from the gateway to and it also has its own earth rod and so it can charge from the grid charge from solar or feed back into the house whether you're on grid or off grid if the customer chose this location it was best for them it doesn't um, get in the way of any exits and there's still plenty of space to move around and also to fit the extension packs to increase the battery capacity later on on this side rugged really good piece of kit you can tell it's really high quality um, with the wall anchors and the feet it's not going to move anywhere so we can see that you've installed the cables from the side but obviously you can install it with it rear entry is there a particular reason why you decided to do that on this just the layout of the building and the space it would have taken up if you had rear entry i don't think it would benefit in this case it would also move the unit slightly forwards um, but the rear engine can be used if you've got expansion packs that stack behind and they can actually stack on top of each other. In this case, you wouldn't have access, but that's another option. Yeah. Still the uh, ferrite cores to add um, to stop any interference. And then in here is the Tesla uh, controller. And we're just going to link this um, to the gateway using a um, shielded um, twisted core cable. And this communicates data back and forth. Um, how much PV has been generated. Pardon me, stay for charge of the battery and things like that. The cable connection is really well thought out. Um, it seems really simple. We've not connected up the um, Tesla controller yet, but our, the instructions are clear. There's only about four cables. It should be really simple. So it's really installer minded for installation. Yeah, a lot of thought's been put into that. Even the um, holes where the cables come in just are already ready to knock out. Um, the Tesla don't want any holes drilling, so they've prepared a variety of different sizes. It's built in DC isolator, although we've added our own uh, point of isolation in case any work needs to be done in it. Um, but for the MCS we've added an external AC isolator. Tested the PV strings for their voltage, their, sorry, their open circuit voltage, their short circuit current. They're just fine. Um, later when it's connected up we'll do dead tests on the supply cables. Um, check that um, the resistance is right, the cables haven't been damaged on install. Um, test at the beginning of the origin um, once all that's done we'll begin commissioning through the tesla one app okay so on the gateway two we have power comes in from the main fuse inside and in our case we're going to use a double pole um, circuit breaker and um, maybe 80 or 100 amps depending uh, what size your intake is then from that it goes into the uh, gateway two which will measure the total use um, by the house 
then there's non-backup loads come straight back off it through in our case a double pole circuit breaker so that would be the hot tub in this example and the EV charge point and then the backup loads again for another double pole circuit breaker is all the house circuits and there's another double pole circuit breaker that feeds the power all three for charging or discharging there's also a couple more spare ways on the DIN rail that Tesla include. They're also going to fit a surge protector and it leaves space for a dual pole circuit breaker, sorry, dual pole RCBO that will later feed the customer's air source heat pump without any of this. Um, the main fuse basically feeds into the fuse board and that uh, protects the final circuit. But in this case, the power from the main fuse comes into the gateway and that goes between the main fuse and the fuse board and it can decide, um, depending on what conditions, is it going to use the power wall three to generate current so you can use the grid if the grid's out this will recognize it and switch straight away um, imperceptibly fast and um, to run off the power wall 3 battery backup um, there's you can choose different loads if you, you can have them backed up not backed up This is inside the gateway too. There's an earth bar where the power comes in. You've got live and neutral in, then live and neutral back to your non-backed up loads. And then live and neutral, there's another bus bar here, to your backed up loads and also to the power all three battery. And then an earth terminal for everything. And um, you can see here there's cables coming in from the grid back to the backed up loads to the non-backed up loads. Another cable will be this cable um, to the power all three battery. Um, and then there'll be another cable later to the air source heat pump. All the cables are in, um, the testing's been done, so we're now going to get the glass lids on the front, uh, make sure everything's cleaned up and tidy, and uh, take the customer through the instructions and how to use it. If you're interested in having a Tesla installed by us, um, please call the office. And like, share and subscribe.